parade today. Just reminds me how much closer we are to the holidays. We're about 12 days away from Thanksgiving and yeah, I'm going to give it to you. We have only 44 days until Christmas arrives. Heading back to the top of our headlines. We do get through the start of today, but also this weekend with those clear and crisp temperatures. We're looking at a high in the 40s and 50s for today. It's going to be all in all a beautiful uh, Veterans Day. So if you're going to be out at the parade, just making sure to grab a few layers because you're going to feel that chill, chill in the air. We'll get through tomorrow quite beautifully as well. In fact, we roll over into our upcoming work week with plenty of sunshine, but those cool temps will stick around for a few days. And yes, we will possibly be right back to rainy filled weekends. Not the case this weekend. This is weekend number two where we have uh, broken that wet trend. Temperatures very close to seasonable. We're looking across our boroughs where we're expecting to be in the low to upper 50s across the region. Satellite and radar is looking pretty decent. We don't really have anything happening here. Those mostly dry and clear conditions. Now we are expecting things to remain that way. We do have high pressure in place right now. So all of that moisture we do see to the south of the area, it's doing its job by helping it suppress to the area. There's our cold front right here sitting to the north of us. This cold front will sweep through by the time we get to tomorrow, and that's going to be the difference in our temperatures today in the 50s. Tomorrow we'll be dropping down into the 40s. Now our air quality index looking pretty good for today. We're in that good zone. In fact, our air quality index number at a 38 pollen count hasn't really been an issue uh, this season. In fact, we've been on the low side for quite a few weeks, but that culprit does still continue to be our ragweed. So while our highs are expected to be in the 50s for most of the area today, take a look at what your evening will look like. If you do have plans on being out and enjoying your Saturday night, I'm letting you know now you are not only probably going to need a coat, but some sweaters and long sleeves under those as well. We'll be waking up tomorrow morning with some pretty cool temps as well. Cool, but also clear in the 40s once again and most of us will manage to stay in the 40s throughout the day. There is a look there when we leave back those uh, chilly and breezy conditions today. We are expecting to be cooler once that front does pass. Now we get to the start of the work week and although our temperatures are back into the 50s, we will be looking at some stronger winds. So we may even see the potential for uh, some some really cool temperatures out there with that windshield. Some more rain adding into the end of the work week. I'll have more of those details later this morning. But for now, John, back to you.